Transformers were originally proposed for sequences, which is a special type of directed graph. Most graph transformers, on the other hand, only work on undirected graphs. However, the set of directed sequences and the set of undirected graphs are disjoint. To close this gap, we propose two directional wear position encodings. One is based on spectral graph theory, and the other is based on random walks. Moreover, we discuss why directed graphs are important in the first place. For example, we show that ignoring direction sacrifices expressivity, since instances with different label may map to the same undirected graph. Alternatively, we can use directed graph to model symmetries in the input domain. After a quick overview of what I mean by modeling symmetries, I will introduce our spectral position encodings for directed graphs and refer to our paper for the other points. Back to the encoding of symmetries. Code is often represented as a sequence of tokens. However, we show that there are benefits modeling the code as a directed graph, representing the dependencies between the different operations. Notably, there are many ways to permute these tokens while keeping the functionality unchanged. For example, the order of some statements can be changed, highlighted in yellow. Moreover, we can flip the order of arguments and commutative operations, here blue and green. Considering only these two factors, we find that there are 4096 ways to write the simple functions. Importantly, we incorporate these symmetries since we map all 4096 options to a single directed graph. So how can we make use of such a directed graph? To explain how, I first consider again the special case of sequences. Here we may use sinusoidal position codings to encode the node positions. As I shown in the bitmap plot, each row is a sinus and cosinus wave of fixed frequency and each column the resulting encoding of the position. These positional encodings are then being added to the inputs of the transformer model. The sinusoidal position codings are conceptually very similar to the sinus and cosinus waves used in the discrete Fourier transformation. This has been realized before, and it was proposed to use the eigenvectors of the graph Laplacian to encode the node position in undirected graphs. In the special case of undirected sequences, the eigenvectors are cosinus waves of different frequencies, similarly to the sinusoidal position encodings. However, symmetrization is required to make sure the Laplacian is real and symmetric. Omitting the symmetrization may cause undesirable properties yielding unusable position codings, as we can see to the left. To overcome this issue, we use the direction of our magnetic Laplacian that extends the graph Laplacian via encoding the edge directions in the complex domain. For this, we symmetrize the adjacency matrix and then obtain the diagonal degree matrix D. We then multiply with the symmetric, uh, the symmetric adjacency matrix with the asymmetric term highlighted in green that depends on the asymmetric adjacency matrix of the directed graph. This way, the resulting magnetic Laplacian is Hermitian, the natural generalization of real symmetric matrices to the complex domain. By constructing the magnetic Laplacian, we have similarly to the graph Laplacian, while also encoding directionality. Importantly, the now complex valued eigenvectors are again well behaved and can be used as positional encodings. Here we show the first four eigenvectors, where the size encodes the magnitude and the color the phase. To the left, we show the lowest frequency and gradually increase the frequency to the right. This qualitatively shows how the eigenvectors plausibly encode the node's position in the directed graphs. Consider pausing the video for a more detailed look. We verify the efficiency of our position codings as well as the importance of directed graphs in various tasks and on different architectures. For example, on the common code 2 dataset for function name prediction, we set a new state of the art. Here we add our position codings to the prior state of the art called Structure Aware Transformer, which is a hybrid GNN transformer architecture. With some improvements and our graph construction, we outperform the Structure Aware Transformer by roughly 15%. Note that our model is additionally invariant with respect to certain meaningless perturbations of the source code. My name is Simon Geisler, and this was a short summary of our paper Transformers Meet Directed Graphs. At this point, I also want to thank my outstanding co authors. Thank you for your attention and check out our paper for more details, more tasks and more reasons and why you should care about directed graphs in the first place.